Hi, thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. I, I really enjoyed the show. I started it last night and finished it this morning. So <laughs> oh, watched it. Thank you. So you've seen it all. Yes, I've seen it all. So um, did you do any fight training in particular for this? Because obviously you have one kind of big <laughs> brawl in there. I did. Um, we had uh, we have a great stunt team that we worked with who were in Prague and they were um, they were fantastic. And they came to me and we had, you know, we discussed the script and we discussed all the written elements. And then we kind of created the story of our own. So they were really forthcoming with my ideas. And we got to do some uh, BJJ, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, and actually our head of stunts, he's incredible. He used to he used to fight in a cage, so he knows what he's doing. Um, and and then we incorporated elements of Krav Maga and, you know, boxing. So it was great because it was all, you know, learning different disciplines and then putting them together in a way that has created this fight. And I think because Mika would have had that background of having having all of these um, disciplines, you know, being trained in them, it, it, it feels quite real, quite authentic to the character. Right. Yeah, definitely. So um, is there anywhere in particular that you took inspiration for the character besides the script or the book? Uh, well, hmm. I mean, I guess, I mean, I kind of saw her as a bit of a female bond in a different, in some ways. There's not that much she gives away. And I quite like that. <laughs> it's kind of, you're intrigued when you see her and there's, you know, and you kind of think, well, I don't know that much about her background. And I feel like that kind of level of intrigue just, just felt a bit Bond-like, really. Right. <laughs> but really, that... kind of keeping my backstory of what was, you know, from what's on the page. I was going to say, did that make it, though, hard to connect to her, kind of not knowing? I mean, obviously, it, it's revealed some as you go along. But what was kind of the hard part, I guess, to connect to? Uh, what was hard to connect to? Well, I think, you know, it wasn't that difficult to connect to her because I think, I mean, I created my own elements of, of who she is but also I was able to discuss so much with Denny and with Matthew which really helped because their dynamic which was you know one of the fundamental points for what drew me to the project um you know we could actually nuance and and create together and then with Denny all the questions that I had about silly things that were you know when she was this where did she go to university where did she xxx and Denny was so open to that because as an actor that's that can really help with making a character rounded, even if on the page, we don't know that much about her. All right. Can you talk about working with Matthew? So, so yeah, we, uh, we, we have a lot of the story together. Um, yeah. And, you know, it, the, the, the Mika Andy story from the beginning to what it, to what it eventually came to was quite a journey. And I think part of that was because Matthew is so dedicated and he really wanted to workshop that story element to make sure that it was honest that it was truthful that it's such an interesting dynamic with both of them because they both have power in different ways um, right. and it's a platonic relationship but they you know they're both always second guessing each other and reading each other and are they trusting each other so it was great because he's so committed to the work and you know when you're playing it you kind of can bounce off that and you know I, I mean, I, I hope we created something, a nice relationship for those characters. Do you have a favorite scene that you're you're allowed to tease that won't spoil anything? Um, a favorite scene. I mean, I loved, I mean, shooting in the desert was great. So all the scenes that are in the desert. Um, Matthew and I had one scene where I think it's at the end of episode two, um, and Denny created this big sandstorm. For us in the desert, which the sand got everywhere, it was in our throats and up our noses, it was in our eyes. It was, but it gave you a sense of the, the chaos that we're all feeling. And um, and Matthew was brilliant with it, and you know he was hilarious, kind of getting through this sand. <laughs> and then and then I'm there, like you know, no one can see anything, no one can hear anything, but you're playing this part, you're playing this bit. Um, and then everyone thinks we've done it, and it's like great, it's a wrap. And then Denny watches, watches it back. She's like, we need one more. So, <laughs> um, so everyone runs back onto set into the sandstorm. Um, so that was very memorable. But I think the whole, I mean, the whole of the, the shoot was quite memorable, if I'm honest. So that's such a strange time in the world. Um, yeah. And and I think it's quite, you know, it's an important story to tell. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what, what the audiences think when it's out. Did you, what did you learn about yourself from doing this project? 
anything at all that you can think of? I mean, you know, in the same way that Mika is, is her juggles a lot of different thing and has her different lives. I felt for me, that was quite, I have a two-year-old daughter, so it was, um, it was a lot of juggling because, you know, it was a lot of traveling and it was, and it's, you know, I, in the same way that Mika is hundred percent committed to her work, she can also have a home life that we don't know about, but that right. she's fully committed to her life. I feel that as, as people, and especially as women, we can do that. And when we're working and, you know, and um, just seeing those parallels was, was interesting. Um, and I learned that I really like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I, I, le- I, I learned just how my inner beast can come out. That, that, was, a, that was quite a learning curve. <laughs> I'm sure. All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. And like I said, I really enjoyed thank it. You, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you too.